this section, we're gonna talk about cooking chicken. Everything from where to place your shelves in your rack to where to place the chicken in the positions in your shelves while you're getting ready to cook. We'll talk about bringing the chicken up, lowering it down, and everything in between. Okay, one recommendation that we have on the ES24 is before you start cooking, going into your, your busy lunch or your busy dinner, if the unit's been sitting idle for a while, we recommend going through and doing a manual filter. What this will do is bring the hot oil through all of your lines, heating all of the metal inside the, the unit and in your filter pan so that it will speed up your recovery time in between cook cycles. To do that, we simply hit manage oil, filter oil, open drain valve, Let it drain down about uh, halfway or so. Start pump. And just let that run for about 30 seconds to a minute. This will heat up all of the metal piping underneath and will heat up your filter pan, which will help save on your recovery time in between your next cook cycle. All right, we're gonna close our drain valve. The valve will close and the rest of the oil will pump back up into the cooking oil. Alright, once you hear that sound, let it run for about 20 seconds. So just to get any remaining oil in the line out. and arrow back to your cook screen. Okay, now it's time to cook. Before we go bread our chicken, we're gonna exit our warm up mode and by pressing either blue box here. We're gonna select the preset for what we're gonna cook. In this case, we're going to cook eight piece chicken, a full load. Press that button and it will display here with your set temperature and your set time with a picture and the name of the product. Okay, it's time to rack our chicken. We've got our seasoned rack here. We're gonna bread up our chicken. For this, we wanna put our big pieces along the outside, our breasts, and our thighs. We're just gonna run those right along the edge. It's a snug fit, so make sure that uh, your pieces are in there, just barely touching with not a lot of space in between. And right here we're using our slow bro coating. However, this would be the point where you would use your breading system that you're using in your location if you're not a genuine grocery chicken operator. So we recommend using anywhere from a 2.75 pound bird up to a three and a quarter pound bird. The bigger the bird, the tighter the fit, but all will work. Set. All right, we're all ready to go. Big pieces are on the outside, breasts and thighs, legs and wings in the middle. We're gonna load our fryer. Remember, V to the front. Thank you. 
Okay, we're gonna cook two heads of chicken. Remember, we put two heads or 16 pieces of chicken per shelf. We're gonna start, if we're only cooking two heads or a small load here, we're gonna start by putting it in position two. Remember our V's to the front, and we'll make sure that we select the appropriate preset. Before we drop our chicken, we need to put an empty shell on top to make sure we don't have anything float away and we're ready to cook. All right, we're gonna cook four heads of chicken now or two shelves. We're gonna start in position two. Again, these to the front. And we're gonna go to position three. Lastly, we will put an empty shelf as a hold down to make sure we have nothing float away. Now we select the appropriate preset and lower in. All right, we're gonna cook six heads of chicken or three shelves. We're gonna use the bottom three positions. Two, one, and three. Again, remember, keep your V's to the front. You'll grab your empty shelf, slide that in, choose the appropriate preset, and you are ready to go. All right, we're gonna cook eight heads of chicken or four shelves. You're gonna load your chicken in. Two, three, one, four. With your hold down shelf on top, make sure your V's are facing forward and everything is locked in. Select the appropriate preset and lower into the fryer. Now that all your shelves are in, your V's are facing forward, your hold down rack is on the top. Make sure all your shelves are locked in place. Make sure your preset is selected. Use both buttons to lower into the fryer. Bring your handle over and the timer will start counting. And our product is ready. You'll hear the timer going off. You'll notice on the controller, it will tell you to open the cover when it gets to a half a PSI or less. At that time, you will bring the handle over and hit one switch up to raise your lid and your product out of the front. chicken is done beautiful golden brown and crispy there's two ways that you can get the shelves out of the rack one would be your handle it simply hooks on right just like so pull it out put it on your landing gear just like that the second way would be with oven mitts you can simply grab them out and transfer them to your holding area. 